This mock interview is an example when the officer is about to test the applicant's English level. He asks the applicant basic small talks and many questions regarding her personal information and her background. In this interview, the applicant also changed job and traveled outside the U.S. after submitted her N-400 application and got a traffic ticket in the past. The officer asked some questions regarding this situation. Let's watch this and learn what questions were asked and how the applicant answered these questions. Ms. Maria Victoria Martinez. Yes. Good morning, officer. Good morning. I am Joshua. I will be conducting your interview today. Please follow me. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Feel free to put your belongings next to your chair and please sit down. Thank you. Please, show me your green card, your appointment letter, all of your valid and expired passports, and ID. Here you go. Thank you. First of all, I need to take your photo. Can you please look at the camera in front of you? All right. Now I will take your fingerprints. Please put your left index finger on the scanner. Now please switch to your right index finger. Awesome. Before the interview, I need to place you under oath. Please stand up and raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes, it is. I really like the weather today. How did you come here today? My husband drove me here. Is he waiting for you in the building? No, he is waiting in the parking lot. Do you feel nervous for the test? Yes, I really feel nervous because this is an important test for me. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Are you ready for the civics test? Yes, I am ready. Good. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life. Liberty. How many U.S. Senators are there? One hundred. What does the President's Cabinet do? Advises the President. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Awesome. You passed the civics test. Now we are going to move on to the English test. Please read aloud the sentence on the tablet for me. Where does Congress meet? Now, I need you to write the following sentence on the tablet. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Awesome. You passed the English test as well. I'm going to review your application. How are you eligible for naturalization? I got my green card through family, and I have been a lawful permanent resident for eight years. When did you become a permanent resident? 
I became a permanent resident on April 26, 2014. Who was the sponsor for your green card? My daughter. What is your full name? Maria Victoria Martinez. Is that name the same as your permanent resident card? Yes, it is the same. Have you used any other names since you came to the U.S.? No. Would you like to legally change your name? No, I don't want to change my name. What is your date of birth? November 24, 1958. Can you tell me your social security number? 682-45-8981 What is your current address? 523 Elite Avenue, West Chicago, Illinois, 60185. What is your current mailing address? It is the same as my home address. How long have you been living at the current address? Almost four years. What was your previous address? I lived in Texas before. The address was 4400 Norwood Lane, Austin, Texas, 78744. How long did you live at this address? I lived at this address four years. I lived there since I came to the United States. You moved from Texas to Illinois on August 18, 2018. Is it correct? Yes, it is. Are your parents U.S. citizens? No, my parents don't live in the U.S. Do you work? No, I am currently not working. I left my job after I submitted the application. When did you leave your last job? Well, I am so nervous right now, so I cannot remember exactly the date. It's okay. You can just tell me the month if you remember. Okay, I just remembered now. I left the last job on January 26, 2022. All right. What did you do at the last job? I was a housekeeper. I worked for ABM Industries Company. You worked there from September 16, 2018 to January 26, 2022. Is it correct? Yes, it's correct. Where else have you worked in the past five years? That's all where I worked in the last five years. How do you currently support yourself? My husband is working, and he supports me. Do you know how tall you are? I'm 5 feet 3 inches tall. What country are you from originally? I'm from Mexico. Your nationality is Mexican? Yes. Are you a citizen of any other country? No. What is your current marital status? I am married. How many times have you been married? I have been married twice. What is your current spouse's full name? Roberto Martinez. What is your spouse's birth date? December 14, 1955. What does he do? He works as a manufacturing supervisor at NBT Machines Corporation. How many times has he been married? He has been married one time. Is your spouse a permanent resident? Yes, he is a permanent resident. Did he just pass his U.S. citizenship interview? I'm sorry, can you please repeat that? All right. Did he just pass his U.S. citizenship interview? 
Yes, he passed the U.S. citizenship interview three weeks ago. He is waiting to be scheduled for the oath ceremony. All right. How many children do you have? I have three children, two sons and a daughter. Are all your children biological to you? Yes, they are. Do you have any children from the previous marriage? Yes, I have one son from my previous marriage. Does your son from the previous marriage currently live with you? No, he got married. He currently lives with his family in Wisconsin. Who do you currently live with? I currently live with my husband and my daughter. Your daughter sponsored your green card. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. How old is your daughter? My daughter is 35 years old. Do you have the divorce paperwork of the previous marriage? Yes, here it is. Thank you. Do you and your husband have any adopted children? No, we don't have any adopted children. All right. I'm going to verify your travel history. How many trips have you taken outside the U.S. in the last five years? I have taken two trips in the last five years. My last trip was April 2022. I took this trip after I filed the application. What date did you leave the U.S.? April 13, 2022. When did you return? April 30, 2022. Total you spent outside the U.S. on the trip is 18 days. Is it correct? Yes. Okay. Did you go to Mexico? Yes, I went to Mexico with my family. I will update your application right now. Thank you. How many days were you outside the U.S. on the other trip? Twelve days. When did you return the U.S. on the first trip? I returned on June 11, 2018. All right. Now please listen carefully and just answer yes or no for me. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Have you ever told someone you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Why not? Because I am not a U.S. citizen yet. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Do you understand what a weapon is? Yes, it is like a knife or a gun. Good. Have you ever been a member of or in any way with a terrorist organization? No. Are you a member of any organization, association in the U.S., or in any other location in the world? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in detention facility? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces, for any reason? 
Yes. Did you receive a traffic ticket? Yes, I received a traffic ticket from the police on July 26, 2017. Why did you get the ticket? I ran the stop sign. How much did you pay the fine? I paid $120. Do you have the payment receipt for the ticket? I cannot get the receipt, but I have a copy of the personal check that I used it to pay the ticket. Does it work for you? Yes, it's okay. Thank you. Here you go. All right. Have you been arrested or just received a ticket? I just received a ticket. All right. Have you ever been pulled over from the police officer for any other reason? No. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Were you ever involved in killing or trying to kill someone? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings, including administratively closed proceedings, currently pending against you? No. Have you ever been ordered to be deported? No. Did you ever lie to gain immigration benefits? No. Now please review the updated form on the tablet and make sure if the updated information is correct. Everything is correct. Thank you for updating my information. You're welcome. Please sign at the last page. Next, please review the Oath of Allegiance. Please read it carefully, and if you acknowledge your willingness and ability to take the Oath of Allegiance to the United States and to accept certain obligations of U.S. citizenship, please sign at the bottom of the page. Awesome. Congratulations. You've passed the citizenship interview. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This is a result. You passed the tests and met all the requirements, but I cannot approve your application right now because you have a traffic ticket. I will be submitting your application to my supervisor for approval. If there are no other issues, you will receive a notice of oath ceremony in the mail within a week. Do you have any questions at this point? No, thank you so much. Congratulations. I will walk you back to the door. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.